All right, so we're live here at Lucky Jacks for the Macrodosing Live podcast. And I was thinking the other day, what's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I can't pay 20 bucks to get a garbanzo bean on my chest. Should Mac Jones have been the number one QB pick from the draft? Did you read the article? Yeah, I read it. They said he should have been. Who's they? Is it you? It's not me. Dan Wetzel, Yahoo Sports. I don't agree. You you don't judge quarterbacks. They grow, they grow on trees, he says. <laughs> Mac Jones? Yeah, the Mac Jones is grows on trees. But why aren't there more of them then? There are plenty of Mac Jones. He's They're in a great not. situation. If you're not a good situation. You're, well, here, this was the twofold argument. So, he was at the game yesterday, so hasn't heard this at the Patriots game. Uh, right now, age, salary, everything. You have a team that's ready to go. Who do you want? GM. Who do you want as your quarterback? And you get him for the rest of their career. Uh, Mac Jones, rest of his career. Tom Brady, <laughs> and then door number two. You don't know who it is. Tom Brady can play it more like now. Well, no. No, there's it's, two doors. You either get Brady right now or you get Matt Jones right. You don't get any. You get them from this day moving forward. I'm going to pick a guy. I'm going to pick Brady. Like, Brady probably has five more years, but Mac Jones. It's, it's picking Mac Jones and Belichick. It's not just picking Mac Jones. Like, in the Mac situation. Jones, they went. No, no, you're not picking Mac Jones and Belichick. You're picking, you're picking for the right. Patriots. Yeah. Obviously. Is that the only I guess you know, that, one guy's a rookie, one guy's 109 years old. That's true. Same age, he's literally the same age as you. I don't play and he's not a short <laughs> football. <laughs> uh, a little, uh, uh, another little caveat to this argument is you were going to grant me the victory if I said, if I said I was happy that they won, happy for you personally that they won. <laughs> Out of your way to say you weren't happy for me. I, I, I'm not. I will never be happy for you. That's honest. You want me to be happy for you that the Bucks won the Super Bowl? No chance. Well, should we, like, we put an asterisk on that Lakers COVID championship. Should we be talking about the Bucks? Oh, there's Bucks? 100% an asterisk. If you don't have to play two road games. They, they did not play us to Green Bay. They said it was one of the loudest stadiums ever because they ever had fans. Yeah, it was it's Aaron Rodgers and the NFC Championship. Mac Jones grows on trees. It's crazy. You're one of the great, like, you're one of those scouts that's very good at evaluating, like, when the career's over. Like, you're, you're like, now you're like, Tom Brady's, like, the greatest of all time. You went in and, like, touched him with a 10 foot pole. You are literally, like, big arm, no intangibles. No, not necessarily. Yeah, no, necessarily. No, necessarily. No, necessarily. But his ceiling is his ceiling. He's limited, at, he's athletically deficient. So, but you would have said that about Tom Brady, right? He absolutely is. We're in a different So game. what's his ceiling? Brady's. Tom Brady is old. Tom Brady can look at a defense instantly and know where to go with the football. Mac Jones isn't there yet. He's, he's not a super Yeah, but you said he upstairs. has a ceiling. Like, he'll never be there. Is that what that implies that? Or is his ceiling, ceiling unlimited? His ceiling is limited. Is limited. Mac Jones' ceiling is limited. So he'll never be able to do what Brady does. It's a different game. Correct. You think Mac Jones is going to do what Brady has done? I think he's capable, yeah. It's just crazy. I mean, why? Tom Brady makes the entire organization better as soon as he steps in the building. Mac Jones, right Did now, you do that day one of his career. Yeah. No, he grew into it. Okay. So why can't Mac? 
I don't think Tom Brady's career in any aspect is uh, uh, repeatable. This guy wins a Super Bowl the next day. He's on the beach working out. How do you know Mac? That's what everyone's saying about Mac right now, though. All okay, cares about football. Maybe, maybe he will, but it's November 15th. I'm just asking, but you... you you got him on a Hall of Fame jacket. You, you got an appointment for him no, this you, afternoon. You are very good at evaluating when it's over. Like, the things you say about Brady is because he's done it. Okay. You're, you're, so, you're the greatest, after it's all said and done, scout of all time. Thanks. You are. It's very nice. Yeah. The GOAT. You're the GOAT. You're the GOAT at figuring out who the GOAT is when it's all said and done. Are you are you panicked? Just talk like about what the bucks. Sign. Yes. It did not Scale like one to ten, how panicked are you? I love it. Have you taken the panic button out? Yeah. Is the panic button ten visible? Is, ten is the most panicked. Yes. Like, have you taken the panic button out? Is it still in storage or is it like sitting? It's got the glass case on it still, but it's on your desk. If we see Vita Vey is out for like a long period of time, yeah. and the panic button is out. If we, if he's okay and he's going to be fine and like. Four weeks or less, then not happening. But we're getting close. We're okay. Once we get healthy, as long as we get in the dance, but now it looks like we're going to get home field, which sucks. <laughs> but it's the NFL. You can't just rely on being healthy. It just comes with the season. Yeah. Drop two in a row, one off a bye. Yep. You can't lose in this. What is, what is the quote? You can't, you can't lose in this league and win. And expect to win. Yeah. You cannot lose in this league and expect to win. Are we still going there? No, we're talking how panicked he is as a Bucks fan. How panicked? He is? Yes. Not yet. I mean, we'll get the dance in time. We'll be okay. But I want our home field, and it looks like we're not gonna get that. Good pick yesterday. I mean, Packers. Yes. Understatement. That game, seventeen nothing, did not tell the story of that game. Packers very good. I'm worried about them. I'd be worried about a lot of things. Your quarterback's old. Morgan's future. You're not coming. Once he leaves, you won't. You'll be up. You'll be the box. Same old box. You'll be terrible for like the next 30 years. I was here. I lived. I lived 2021. I was oh. here. I mean, it's nice to get one. I know how that feels. We got like a million of them, but and we're rebuilding. We're like the Terminator when all the stuff starts recreating. Like the Patriots are going to be the best team for the next 20 years again. You don't believe that? No, you can think that. That's fine. I've been right for about 20 years. You've been right for five minutes. It's all correlated to Tom Brady, right? Uh, no. There's a guy that's the best coach of all time that's still there. Okay. Let's see. Maybe worry you about your own thing. You thought he's the best coach of all time. Okay. So that's pretty important. He's still there. Tom Brady, best quarterback, best player of all time, right? Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. See you in LA if you get there. Oh. Oh. Well, we'll be there. Steve. You will. Yeah. How with your team? Why not? Who, who's better than right now in the AFC? They're not the best team in our division. Get out of here. Have you seen their last two games? You see what? I mean, they blew the doors off the Jets yesterday. I mean, if people oh. here. Oh. 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 You hear that? Jerry's laughing at you. They blew the door out of the Who did they blow the door off the week before? The who? The who? The who? Team that's. The who? The Bills are in front of you. You're not going to catch the Bills. We'll see. December 6th, we'll see. We're not? No. There we are. Bills fans know we're going to catch them. I see Bills fans. They know. I look them in the eye. They know. They had their moment. It's gone. And I like the Bills. I love Josh Allen. And by the way, Josh Allen's the exact type of quarterback who, like, is not built to play a Belichick. Too unpredictable. Makes it, it's like, we're going to force it. I love him, but it's just facts. All right. Handle your own house. We'll be good. What? We'll be there. I am? We are handling our own house. You handle your own house. Oh, we still? See you, Shay. Hi everybody, it's lunchtime right now, and I'm not hungry at all. That's because I just ate Trifecta Nutrition. It's my favorite high quality meals. I don't have to suffer anymore with healthy food tasting bad, because now healthy food tastes pretty good. And you guys can have it too if you go to trifectanutrition.com and you can use code STOOL 
for 40% off your order. That's a great deal. I recommend it. What's going on? What's, the what's going on? Go from the 8th of October. Rudy, this is crazy. My guy, listen, I'm I'm stuck. I'm compromised yet again. I don't know if you heard, over the weekend I got compromised by Rico. Miko Bosco compromised me. I'm a consigliere to Jerry. I'm his trusted guy, his lawyer. I love this guy. Take him under my wing. Love him. I'm also calling the fight. So I told him I had to stay a little impartial. And Roan is one of my best friends in the office. Broken bread with him many times outside of the office. Fucking Tweedledee over there. I'm not pointing. At you, Jerry. You're well, you're kind of talking. You're saying the same. Thing. Tweedledee over here is accusing Roan of stealing some shirts and sending them to Jeff Nadeau. And then Jeff Nadeau, what did he do? He tweeted a picture. The problem is, Roan is in Minneapolis. How could he do it? How could he do it? Excuse me. If someone's on someone's side, right, wouldn't you be like, hey, it happened October 8th, we got the shirts. The next day, missing? gone. When did they go missing? The next day, October 9th. He's in Minneapolis. Not since October 9th, this guy is He's been in Minneapolis. Don't listen to TikTok, Marty. You'll be, at, you'll be in L.A. the next day. <laughs> That's fucking least, making TikToks at, at the swear. Month before his fight, he's like, oh my god, it's Big Cat fucking with me no, now. No, my honor is. I told, I told Jerry, I, I, I couldn't have been more clear. I told Jerry I would die for him. I would do anything for him. If he tells me that I have to make a turn on Rome, I will kill myself. <laughs> that's, honorable. A, that's honorable. That's honorable. So technically, you'd be killing me because if you told, if you gave me the order, I, I, that, you'd know how it would end. You see me giving you the order? No, you're not. Right. So I've been very clear. Listen, there's not many guys in this office that if Jerry said, hey, go, go, go whack that guy, go take him out, I'd take him out. Roan is not one of those. Roan is a made man in my crew. Yeah. So what do you want me to do? Nothing. Leave it how it is. That's He's it. in Minneapolis. Yeah. There's nothing he can do about it. If not Roan, then who? What do you mean? If it's not Roan that did it. The dude said there's more than just Roan on his side of this office. So there's more. Well, so oh, Brand we Brandon's on his side. Brandon has always Brandon. done that. Yeah. Brandon's always been that guy. Yeah. Always. If you want me to take out Brendan, I'll do it in a second. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. He almost, he, almost, he almost took himself out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wish he know. had. That's why Karma plays a big uh, play into this, too. Nadu gets the package yesterday. Brandon falls down the steps yesterday. I had a good gambling day. And the Bears didn't play, so it couldn't have been me. Carmen. Nope. Roan, Eagles won. Yep. Roan's the Eagles fan. Yeah. Couldn't have been him. He's in Minneapolis. I don't know. It's wartime. You guys are fighting a two-front war. I thought you were going to talk about Dion. Well, I mean, I've been compromised seven different ways now. I, I get compromised. Miko's got me in a spot where I, I owe a favor to... I owe a favor to a, a bad man. Yep. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nope. You understand that. I get it. You would never put me in no, that spot. No, never, no. No. I don't ask for favors. But I would do one for you. But you would, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not even asking. You You wouldn't have to ask. I'd just do it. Yeah. yeah a month before my fight, I got to deal with this. What's, uh, Rats what's in the, in the box? What was in the box? thousand dollars worth of shirts. What were the shirts? They, they were uh, Fuck Jeff Nadu shirts. Well, why... Can I ask a question? Why were they come back down? Come sit over here. Why were they? Why were they underneath Marty's desk for a month? They don't you think Marty? Oh, no, they weren't under his desk for a month. They the October eighth, Spider delivered the shirts. Me and Marty took like one or two each, and the bag stayed under Marty's desk. The next day, the bag was gone. October 9th. So, you think Marty maybe he went and sold them? <laughs> so we could have some money to gamble with. The guy possible. likes to gamble. It's possibility. The guy likes to gamble. Can't trust him. No. Can't trust a gambler. No. Hopefully this guy peek and look at the cameras. Oh. No? Bad idea? Listen. Pizza. Pete is a Hall of Fame scumbag. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Piece of shit. Can't trust him. Sucks at curling. Can't come. I can't come. What do you mean can't, can't come? He literally cannot come. He says he said that? He has no come. Medically can't come. Medically cannot come. What? So you want to trust him? I mean, I'd like to know. Yeah, but he won't do it. He'll yes you, yes you, yes you, and then yeah. he'll never do it. Well, I've been looking for tapes forever. Really? Yeah. 
Someone stole my mouse once. Really? And I was like, where is it? And I couldn't find it. He wouldn't look on the tapes. Really? Yeah, he's a scumbag. He can't come. <laughs> you ask me to come, I come. That's a fact. <laughs> Pete, you ask him to come, can't do it. I never even seen this guy, Pete. Yeah, he's a shadow guy. Always got a mask on. So what should we do? Nah, I'd leave it alone. Just know we got we got rats in the office. Snakes. Kleptos. Who are the two people who have ever asked you for a card? Stephen Che got one single card. I watched him use the card for pro for mm -hmm. uh, whatever their fantasy thing is. He wrote on it. Okay. So it can't be that one. And the other one's Devlin. And when, what did when, he do with it? When did Devlin ask you? I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and then probably... Wow. And then, wow. After, and then after that, he came into his office without asking me, and then came and took a card. A couple weeks ago, you'd say. And like I said... That one was more recent, him coming in here and getting a card for himself. Oh. Wait, what is it? Can you explain the card? Significant. Well, the card is what Jeff Nadu had. I custom printed these probably about Yeah, those are two like oversized. Ago. These are the only ones. Yeah. And Dave used them for like his gambling stuff. So those are the only two people. So, so and again, know. Devlin... If well, Devlin I, I, did I, it... I mean, I wouldn't rule out that Rome was involved with Devlin, but the only person who got that card was Devlin. But if Devlin did it, he is above the law when it comes to the yeah, fight promotion game. Him. I can't be mad right. at him. Yeah. He's the one he's guy who's to, allowed to, to do it. Fights. Right, yeah. exactly. That's what I told Jerry. Roan you can be mad at, but I don't think it was Roan. Devlin, he's just trying to sell fights. I don't think it was Roan. Alright, we'll ask Devlin. And, um, okay. Then hey, guess. Uh, oh! Yeah. He's a nice guy. guy. He's 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 three. Three. Put three. He's here to one more. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, it'll be a third one. Like, so we can try it. He's gonna get a lawn chair. We can take it on the bus. <laughs> we can fit three. I'm not giving up the real estate, though. I fucking earned it. Earned it? Earned it? You earned it, too. You left. We've been working here for a week and a half. Who should get the seat? Uh oh. That's up to y'all. We got a turf war here. I feel like I walked into some really awkward. Yeah, we're, we're just refusing to get up. It feels like a turf war. Yeah, oh, we gotta get Rico, third. Rico called himself the Rosa Parks of Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> did not get up. I swear to God, you missed it. It was crazy. It was like I'm. I'm. Rosa Parks stood up and so or, or sat down and so am I. But now we're gonna have four people at the desk because Joey's sitting here today too. Huh? Milton Tough. Oh, shit. What number of employer are you? 355 or something? What's Gaz? I think he's three? Two? Oh, you're not. What number's Gaz? Employee. Two? Uh. He's actually he's like, still here, yeah. No, yeah. Still here, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know what Dave is. I mean, I don't know what Rico is. Three fifty. Who's? What was your number? What was your guys' numbers on your jackets when we got them like two years ago? Not you, obviously. So many been here forever. Who is? Did anyone get a jacket? Who's been here for? Robin, did you get a jacket with your number on it? Employee number? No. Jacket. He was Forty? early too. Rico, pick fast. What if I should right I love that. Oh. Rico, I'm sorry, ETN. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. I love it. Woo! Woo! My boy's got good hands. That was a good throw. Got in here right at 8 a.m. Yeah, <sighs> sexy little freak, little lumberjack looking ass. Ooh. What? what? Look at this fit, dude. From West Virginia, baby. Damn. I don't know how you deal with this all day, Kelly. She doesn't. I don't. It's difficult. Nick, tell Frankie. Well, Glennie is in for the bathhouse on Friday, no and shit. Frankie refuses. Yeah. 
You it's sound ridiculous ridiculous right now. You're talking about things you don't even know. You sound ignorant. And in a yeah. hot shower, I'll pour <laughs> You think that's the same sensation? You're uncultured swine. You're you uncultured have a perfect swine. build for it. I don't The actually. fellas are going to love you. He's, he's, <laughs> that's what I don't like. He's worried about any fellas to love me in any way. Why don't you want fellas to love you? He's worried about exposing his nipples. I am. What, you have weird nipples? No, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw some tape on top. That'll be fine. Dude, it's a bathhouse. It's a judgment-free zone. Yeah, it's where the guys chill. I'd love to come. It's amazing. Please. It, it got Trent Ryan to utter the words, I gotta start doing more shit. Trent, Trent. I had a great time. This is, uh, is this the Ukrainian bathhouse? Yeah, well, we don't want to put the name out on camera. We don't want this place filling up. It's a... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. No, the food's good. You have to eat if you come. There's a bar area. There's food. There's an Olympic-sized pool, jacuzzi, sauna, steam room, schwitz room, cold tub. I did. That's crazy. I had a problem. That's is that that's yeah that it's it's magic, Frank. He close up Pebble Beach and he hasn't even had a Peroni. He had a, he had a Peroni. <laughs> it's, a diff, it's a different world down there. He's that's it's an underground. Yeah. 30% chance. Okay. All right. It's higher than it was just 10 seconds. No, it's not. Hey, that's a Hall of Fame. No, it's higher. Yeah, yeah it's a Hall of Fame. That is. 30%, 300. Right. Yeah. I'll take my chances. I need right. Derek Jeter to get a hit. We gotta, we gotta, I mean, it's only Tuesday. We got a couple days to talk about. Oh, God. We could work on them. Work on them like they'll work on you there, rub you down. <laughs> can you get him? Uh, you can, yeah. It's like 100 seconds. Cut it all. Alright, 30%. Alright. I haven't been to a steam room since the incident. What's the incident? When I got jerked off in front of? Yeah. Th this isn't that type of place. Could be. Um, did you, why did, there's girls, why didn't you leave? I did leave. How much did you see? Enough. You didn't see bust, did you? No bust. Thank God. Then you didn't see anybody jerking off, that could have been somebody scratching an itch. <laughs> Also, another thing that I saw today, I wrote down, I wrote down three things. The Waffle House thing I wanted to talk about. You hold it up like this, like, is this is like meth and all this fucking crap. <laughs> 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 and another thing, when we did the brother show for us tonight, we were like, how are we going to start? And we just said, we're going to riff because that's what we do. We just, that's how we get into into the zone when we do this podcast. But uh, I want to get everybody at this table's opinion because I know that we definitely have some strong takes on this one about the debate on Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift, specifically, Taylor Swift, the debate, her, or, well, there, there are a lot of other people she was being compared to, but today I saw Whitney Houston or Taylor Swift. You're being Swift on Refusal at the Queen. Uh, to be compared to no, 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 no. so talented, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Very talented artist. But to compare, like one of the greatest voices of all time, <laughs> Tennis Whip, is stupid. So, my opinion is that it's like Whitney Houston, way more talented than Taylor Swift. Way better singer than Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's body of work, she's 31 right now, so it's only going to continue to grow as she gets older. I still say, I say Whitney Houston is better, a better singer than Taylor Swift. I agree with you on that. Of course. I think Taylor Swift's a better storyteller. Okay. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, you went there. You went there. But you can't even count it because, like, low key, like, pop star and Whitney Houston was a pop star. Like, pop stars don't even write their own music, really. So it's well, like. But Taylor does. <laughs> yeah. No, I hate that. You guys don't understand the grip as a 22 year old girl she has on my throat. I. <laughs> 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 No, I do. Taylor Swift is future for white women. Just as Titanic. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, Titanic 2, on the other hand, be on the lookout for that. Show of hands, if they made a Titanic 2, exact same model, exact same route, exact same number of lifeboats, that's what's important. <laughs> Would you go on it? Show of hands if yes. Yeah, same route, same time of year, same date. And navigation technology, you guys. He looks like he was on the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just explain so everything just, you just did and then say no. I don't like wake up with a plan like, okay, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. Every day I wake up, I'm like, oh, this is a cool day. And then when I close my eyes, I'm like, 
nah, no. <laughs> and then NFL Sunday comes around, I'm like, this is the day. Um, I just want to call on people, you'll get one question, and your answer to that one question will determine whether or not you are a lib. So do you like making your own decisions? Yes. Not a lip, congratulations. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Sorry. trail mix? Russ. Oh, 0 oh for 2, no lips so far. No, no. Did you just politicize healthy snacks? <laughs> uh, yeah. I fucking hate trail mix. Huge lip. I don't get it. San Francisco Giants, what's your name? Quentin. Quentin. Who's your favorite SNL cast member? Oh, Bill Hader. Believe it or not, any answer to yeah. that question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have one more right here. What's your name? Brogan. Brogan. That's an awesome name. So so that actually was the question I have is what's your name? And you're definitely a lip. <laughs> that was the lip detector test. Thank Bird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings, Take these broken wings, wings and learn to fly. Donnie, do you have a question? Um, yeah, I do. It's actually not my question. It was a question I got DM'd to me on the way to the show, and I think it's right up your guys' alley. Uh, hey, Donnie, how are you? I'm, <laughs> I'm a newer drug user, and uh, just last week I was given a bag of magic shrooms for my birthday. In your opinion, where do you think I should do them? I was thinking about doing it at a football game, hashtag Bill's Mafia. Oh, yeah! So um, I, will, I will answer the second half of the question. Absolutely not at a fucking yeah. Bill's game. Your first time doing shrooms. Well, yeah. Yeah. no, right. absolutely what, not. What are the, what are the key ingredients, time. One of the key ingredients to a good, especially first trip, is like a sense of community, people you trust. Bill's Mafia, they're in lockstep. And now there's going to be a lot of chaos happening, a lot of fire, a lot of tables getting smashed, but everyone's on the same page, so you've got to trust your surroundings there. That's I understand right. what you're doing, but like that dude might really take his advice, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, I, I don't know if you've ever been around somebody like is just tripping, like Brittany has a bad trip. Oh, I have. So like, nah, you want to be in a nice, calm environment with somebody what they usually call a spotter, right, that's been through it, that understands what you're going through. Uh, outdoors and nature, like that's the best vibe. It's like in forest. Raymond right James uh, Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be my advice. But if you want to do it at Bills game, my G. I actually yeah. think a Bills game might be the worst place ever. <laughs> <laughs> but then no one's gonna be able to tell that you're on shrooms because everybody around you could yeah. quite easily be on shrooms. Hey, you're on. You're the most sober person there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably. Yeah. I don't, I don't take a lot of stands as a producer. I kind of stay neutral. But there was a question on the, on the last episode about the weirdest things that we do, right? And I said that food tastes better with water. Everybody said it was, I was wrong. So we're gonna test that theory. I got Oreos, I got water, everybody's in the show. Okay, so better with water is a really, it's kind of a normal thing because water is a palate cleanser. I believe the statement was, Dunking your Oreos into water makes them He was saying like you take a bite of food and then you put water, yeah, put water in your mouth and kind of like blend them together. Yeah. Holy, how you feeling about too. I, I mean, it's an Oreo at the end of the day. Like, I'm not yeah. going to die. So, I might, now that I've said it. Yeah, no, take two. Take two. Take two. All right, so you have to try the first one. There you go. So now dunk it into the water, soak it, and try it. Tell me there's an enhanced flavor. You have to agree with me on this. Avery, it tastes exactly the same for pushing. It actually just tastes like water on an Oreo. <laughs> if, 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 if like, it did not taste any more than I like, like I thought that it would. How, how long have you got to do it? It just dissolved so quickly. It's like someone chewed it first and then handed it to me. Yeah, I feel like it was baby bird. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit, have a couple drinks, come say hi. Be cool. We'll be around. Um, I do think we do have the handsomest, most gorgeous crowd. Wait, Billy, how tall is Billy Tyson? 5'10". 5'10", so you can take him. Yeah, I think it'll... Only when eat him. I'm not fighting Mike Tyson, though. 
I'm going to opt out of fighting Mark Tyson. Okay. All right, love you guys. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Chills every time you walk make this wall. Every time. Holy shit. Just look at high up. Dude, what's going on? We're here at Assembly Hall. Fortunate the uh, program uh, giving us an all access tour. And we have Assembly Hall to ourselves right now, one of the most historic arenas in college basketball. I've shot a ball literally since Alabama. I for sure have not. I'm never gonna make one. Catch. Oh! That was sick. There we go. My God. Wet. <laughs> Been here forever. Our first live show was fantastic. Way more. We were expecting it. Only one to ten. We got a shit crop packed at the bar. It went well. Rico got set. Fuck you. Seventy-four. Indiana takes down St. John's. A thriller of a college basketball game. What an atmosphere! I don't know if I want to watch games here no more. Replace. By hook or by crook to replace that Mount Ridemore painting, or else you're gonna have to bleep this because I don't want it known. But this article has gone wide. Oh no. Oh no is right. The focus. And I don't I don't want to have to retweet it. But if I don't get that back, it's it's going to get retweeted. How did you find that it was missing? He told me. I went oh, in he did. Uh, yeah. He said he heard the painting was gone. Wait, who's he? Rico. Oh, come on now. So he he self-reported? Well, he said he didn't know how it was gone, and then ten minutes later, he said he took it. <laughs> Wait, fill me in, Austin. What happened? Well, last night we were at the stream, and Big T was there, who has a history with Rico, and Big T. Oh, Rico texted Dave, basically being like. I'll come to the stream, but if like any government names are being used, if anything like that, this, this big JV guy, you know, so he's a loser, he's a low life, he's a scum, if he uses any of that, I'm out, I need assurances that won't happen, Dave says, I can't give you those assurances. There's then a bit of convolution between, if he just threw me off, um, bench mob got a story somewhat viral about what was it, chanting ex-girlfriends? So a little bit of maybe slut shaming going on from Bench Mob. That was disgusting from yes. per Dave. Um, and Rico called to clear his name. Hello. Yo, did, it, did we did we participate in the chant? Or we just reported it? And while that was happening, Big T was on the background, and he said, calm down. 
Rico's government name. Hey, Terry. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna be all right. And Rico flew off the hand. Right. You, you know, Alan, fuck, fuck you. You're gonna be all right. I... <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Just... He called back again. Because then that clip got posted with the government name and angry again. Big T once again said it. Rico flew off the handle again. What the fuck did you just do on a live stream? You thought fucking business inside of your ass here is what you just did? And I fucking got in the hole. You fucking do that? Wait. I was calling you to talk to you and, and ask to get to the bottom of what happened at Indiana. We're under attack from all angles and we got to close ranks. I wanted your side of the story. I thought you'd pick up. He's dead in bed with that fat fuck. Tell him fucking loser. Cry for me, bitch. What would be, yeah, the bigger story is bench mob getting involved in a sloppy seconds chant, trying to slut shame a girl at Assembly Hall, led by Rico Bosco. Can't have that. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. That's a fire hoodie. Yeah, they're sweet, right? I had a question. It was come up because Stool Scenes was asking Austin what happened yesterday. And he recounted, he's like, Dave was asking because he was worried about the integrity of Bench Mob when you guys were in Indiana. And the student section started chanting, I'm not going to repeat it, it's so profane, trying to slut shame basically. And I guess you were part of this and then reported about it and were making jokes, bench mob. The social team tweeted it out. We were there. It's a report. It's, it's a report. We reported it. You, 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 I think Rico sat down It's there. a non-story if, if you don't get involved. What's he? Well, Austin's hiding behind the fucking pillar over there. <laughs> oh, he's got... Oh, oh, no. He's got... Where'd you hide that that he found? I don't know. Austin shouldn't be getting involved. I don't like when Austin is involved. Well, that was a mistake by Austin. <laughs> He's probably trying to get a table. A what? <laughs> he knows you're moving to Miami. He's trying to get tables. Be a good little doggy. <laughs> what do you mean, table? <laughs> <laughs> the doggy, Austin. What is he doing? I don't know. He's being a weirdo. He is being a weirdo. <laughs> this is this is a classic. If you know anything about me, I don't want you running around searching. It's like he got an ultimatum. Um, so what? So you're saying that I just don't, it, it, it's, it's for the kids, somebody's daughter, all that, and you, you didn't even stand up, you reported, you made, sat down. Then how did it go clip. viral? Maybe we're making the waves that we thought we did on social. What do you mean? The guy, he's using Who's us. Who's his social? Dukes. Did you talk to him? <laughs> they fucking <laughs> it's all it's The clip was going to get out there no matter what. Why? Whether it's Where else is it? It would have, somebody would have picked it up. They heard it on the Who Fox else? broadcast. Who else picked it up? I don't know if anybody else picked I, it up. I think it's a good clip. Mm. Oh. You of all people. I sat down. Did you? Yes. See the clip? Sat down and then texted dudes, get that out. I don't control the social. I just control the relationships. All right, that's all. I was disappointed. That's how this whole thing started. Because I was hearing bad things about you at the house. I don't know if that's bad. I mean, the fucking guy, that guy uses this for clout. Brazil's a fucking scumbag. He's okay. still going after the right. He's a piece of shit. All right, all right. So he still has 10 minutes. Well, I know Austin. He, Austin just, I mean, it's like... He ruins like, things. Austin ruins things. <laughs> Austin. You just stay out of it. <laughs> I wasn't bringing it. They, they, they Why said, do you have it? It was... What the fuck are those? Camo pants. You give him an ultimatum, you can't come on around with it. When, when you, in your brain, when you're like, should I get involved in content? The answer is always no. <laughs> I, was, I was standing behind the pole. The, the answer, what, you came over with it. 
I'm standing. You're holding. I think you're literally. I mean, I I can take care of it if you need. No, I mean, but you're literally holding. You get that he had an ultimatum to return it himself, and then you walk in holding it, so you ruin the bit. Okay. You get that? Sure. This is how he always talks, by the way. No acknowledgement of anything ever. Like, straight. <laughs> like, you don't get how that ruins the bit? I wasn't bringing it over. Um, I was waiting for you to come back out. Whatever. What do you mean you weren't bringing it over? You literally <laughs> brought it over in your hand. How can anybody say you weren't bringing it over when you... In what world is that not bringing it over? You're holding it. True. So, how are you not bringing it over? You are holding it. Correct. What do you mean you weren't bringing it over to show? What were you doing with it? I was waiting for you to come back out. And then we're gonna. Yeah. Gonna show you. Because I'm already counting. So you weren't. Bring it over, show me, but you're bringing it over to show me. No, I was bringing it over to show it to content, and then you make a decision based on yourself. You get how I'm like Rico. You have 20 minutes to put it back, and then you walked with it. You get how that ruins it. Well, it's not on camera. You can make a decision and then still play the bit. He's never admitted he's wrong. This is what drives me. <laughs> like, he, he literally will argue to the death like this on everything. It's... I don't know what to say. You're like, I wasn't holding it. It's like, but it's in your hand. But you weren't going to show me. But then it's like, when, what were you doing with it? You're like, well, I was going to show you. You just said, you just said it. Yes, I'll show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been fighting all morning. Is it, I don't know if there's an article that's going to There is. That I'm trying to get taken off. I just read it. Today. It was disgusting. How would I describe this? Sometimes I am a rider as a, not as a joke, I'm always a rider, but there's times when I'm like, you know, kind of having Rico's side or, and I'm like joking around and I'm like, whatever, Rico's a crazy person. What is happening now is actually fucked up. Like I, I, he just came on full time. We have so many people here who have first names that no one says their first name. Like it's a thing, it's an established thing. PFT, Donnie, Brandon Walker, like, and if people started calling him by what the first Brand Walker, his name's Thomas. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, what? exactly, exactly. What the fuck? This is my entire point. And if people started calling, like Donnie's name is not Donnie. If people started calling him by his first name, people would, people would be like, what the fuck? And but because it's just like, because it's Rico, fucking. You did. I had no clue. Exactly. Like this is my entire point. Is like. And Dave is actually, I don't know, it's just fucked up. I actually think this one is fucked up. That's my, that's my point. It's like Dave's the article being... with, with Rico's government name exposed. Yeah. Wait till people find like, out what Nick's real name is. What? People find out what Nick's real name is. There's probably more too. Gaz's name isn't Gaz. <laughs> I know that one. Rudy, what's your uh, given first name? My given first name? Yeah. Rudolph. Rudolph, yeah. See? Yeah. But still, either way, is not smart. Shut up. Are we, do you want two tower decks or one? Level of stupidity. Yeah, it was... He still, he still doesn't think he was involved. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I, I understand that I was involved, that was not the intention. You're holding it. <laughs> So what are you talking about? That's literally musky. Like I didn't, st I didn't break it. I just stuck the scissors in there. Like my plan was off camera to be like. But why? Why your plan off camera? Why do you think I want you involved in like what I'm doing? That was like I gave him an ultimatum: twenty minutes or I do this. And you walk up with the. Why? But why? Why are you like? Let me get involved in this. Once you are holding it, you're involved. How do you not see that? I was just gonna, like I said, the plan was I would show you off camera. But you your thought, plan, stop. Yeah. Why do you have a plan in what I'm doing? I don't know, you might have thought it, I don't know if you thought it'd be funny to have the painting. Oh, but why, why do you, why? Don't, like, don't ever be like Dave made like something like this for content. You're not content. Right. Like, that is, like, the second you're like, my plan, you fucked up. Right. Period. So now what are we gonna do with the article? 
he dodged a bullet. Maybe he's a sneaky double secret agent for, for Bosco. My plan. No, 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 you don't, you, you, you don't have a plan. I don't need a plan. I've had guys who do that, they just jump into content. It's like, dude, I, I know what I'm doing. I set a whole fucking thing up and he just come, oh, burp, 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 burp. Ugh. Unbelievable. Superpower. Like the three things, like like when uh, Voltron becomes the big guy. I don't know that reference. Voltron? The, all the different parts come together into one huge robot. You can't be beat when they're together. Like me and Dan need that. That was Captain America, no? Didn't he have like wind? I thought that was oh, Captain America. Voltron. No, there. Captain Planet. Yeah. Captain Planet. Voltron. You know Captain Planet? Not really. You know like, Voltron? Not really. Anyone else know Voltron? Yes, I've heard of it. <laughs> right, they all. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should be like Voltron. I didn't come up with the idea. I'm trying to get somebody who was aware of what was going on for Black Friday. I had nothing to do with it. You get mad at me. He came. I said he won't even do it. He's like he won't do it. There's no point in asking. Dan, you know what happened? You compromised him, and then he probably called him the favor. All right. We should think of Voltron. Think. What? But so maybe we just have to go for it. What are you talking about? Text I sent you. They should get their own room too, based on those. We'll give you. Uh, you want your own room locked, your own merch. We'll cut in and out. You'll never see anybody. Padded white room, exactly what you need. <laughs> what? All right. What? We got to come up with a symbol that's. And then we come together. Research Voltron. It's slick. What's he mad about? Oh, no. He's mad because his name is going. There's an, there's, so he got doxxed and he's somehow blaming it on me. But what does that do with Black Friday? Well, he thinks I have a do to do fetish, and the do to do is part of Black Friday, which I had nothing to do with. Dan did. It was all Dan's idea. And he's mad at me because he says I have a So he can't do Black Friday because he, it's in his contract. So I said we'd put him in a, his own room locked with his own merch and we just cut into <laughs> Jackson would be very funny. I think it's a good solution. Okay. So you're trying to you're trying to mend it right now. Yes. He's a tough guy to mend, although the Mount Ridemore is back up even though Austin fucked that one in the ass. <laughs> it's crazy.